Detective Comby had a hard time understanding what had happened. It did feel similar to when he was pulled into the French Quarter, but with less power and purpose. Did he cause this, or was it something else? Oh, what happened? Everything's normal again? Right. And we need, need more pieces. Hmm. I need the key. Okay, that explains where the rot is coming. From another dimension or something. The good, good hints. If you enabled them. That's a library. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Thierry Bricklow, 1917. Yaseto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Yaseto kept a modest production of barrique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Dersetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. Huh. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Dersetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their seto was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1, 1907, Inspector Legrasse Le charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed and even more were jailed. Legras is from the H.P. Lovecraft's books. Incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the same foundation. So it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Key. So Esther T. group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of Der Seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Interesting. Temple facade. We are just being silly. A 
somebody has been playing solitaire. It's wedge shot. Very resident evil. Like, okay, this is just plain weird. What is going on? Fight cat. Beast of burden, okay. Garden hose. Hmm. So if I fill the well with the water it doesn't stay well it could stay for a while. So we need the holes. <laughs> Let's destroy everything. I'm a detective. Got it. What are holes? Nice. Okay, what was that? Ah, that's a cat. So let's repair the shortcut. Okay. That's more like it. Ominous at all. Broken plate. So this is second piece. Uh, that's a. That's for the boiler, at, not for the clock. So we need to f fix the clock and boiler. That's where we are going. Oh, really? No, no, it's closed. Okay. Level keeps changing. Locked. 
Just fishing. Cellar somehow. Like tr like through the stairs. That <laughs> that would be a good thing. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. Ew. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Cassandra room. Yeah, that that's what we found actually. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and this is Okay, that's a clock piece. So she chucked it uh, in the room. A small room which we can't enter right there so we should repair the clock I think yeah repair the clock and then repair the boiler Now it works. Yep. I think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Three, six, four. That is my numbers. Huh. Okay. Three, six. in the black glass it's showing me something it's the hallway outside Jeremy's room
Okay. We are not in the Kansas anymore. Huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. Very vivid memories. Amazing stories, yeah. But these memories are all filled with the uh, monsters. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter. Burial mound. Finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hartwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Mr. Hartwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. He means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. The work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Hmm. Need the key. Well, of course. Chetiki, okay. It's probably going to help. Good amount of bullets, but then that can go. There's something missing. Okay, so we need the lever. That's broken. Black grass is mentioned, so I wonder if there's like going to be deep ones.
Yep. Or well, those are, those are monsters in in, in the water. Not really look, not looking like a deep ones. Bad over there. Can we drop down from the side over there? Suppose his sanity is pretty low. As his pride faded, Detective Combe was left with a feeling of unease. He had successfully managed to enter a whole new world. How could this be? And why did he accept this so readily? One thing was clear. There were no answers to be found by standing around questioning reality. Knowing only what he read in the commonplace book, Combe headed off to look for Jeremy in the hateful mound. Lots of, lots of melee weapons here. I wonder how many uses is there. I would like to know how many times I can use the hatchet. Not too many times, I think. I died. <laughs> that that was definitely a monster. 
I tried to set it on fire, but did it work out, work out so well? There's several of them. <laughs> okay, he has seen the better, better day. Several of them. This is a just a tool shed. And I suppose I should get there. Developers could be nasty and just leave me. Looks pretty weak. I just need something to break it. So this whole place is... Okay, hello. That looks like a, something out of Alan Wake. Oh, uh, hello. Good thing I'm quite silent. Okay, nothing here. To totally pointless. So we can go to porch from pro porch to porch, basically. And we need to get to the hateful mound. There's no new monster there. Pistol bullets.
nothing. Four bullets to kill a monster. That's not too too much. Well, too little. Okay, this is <laughs> non one from other games. Stuff can, that can happen. So it's it's uh, thirty two. So. Used up a bit too much, but yeah, I, I can I can buy it that you need to like four times shoot four times to kill something. Point point. 32 caliber round is 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 not as as powerful as 9 mm parabellum. So that's why. Now we need to get past that monster. We already checked this. I think we did. Yeah, we did. Nothing. Okay. Nothing else here. There's two of them. Okay, that was st stupid. And that was. Oh no, and I'm getting rushed. Okay, died. I was rushed and failed to fail to sneaky sneak pretty badly. Epic fail, I would say. Did we already? So we didn't gather these items here. Apparently we can we can run at this pace, but shouldn't go. Or we could just try to run. I'm leaving. Have a, have a nice day. Not not wasting bullets. So we need to get past those guards, basically. Monsters. To the hateful mount. Oh, no. 
could have been more better, but we are alive and kicking, so. It's a bit uh, hard to hear your voice over the game sounds, okay, so. Okay, so we have a... Well, <coughs> first, first of all, I'm, my sound is... My voice is very low, low right now. But we are going to lower the volume a bit from the game, or rather the... I don't want to lower the dialogue, but I want to lower the music and stuff. Sounds. <clears throat> Audio. So, okay, so everything is at the 10. So. Uh, so, vo voice, voice can be pretty high. Because some, some of the parts are just voiced over. They, they have a voiceover, but they are not written on, on the screen. So that's why we are going to keep the voice volume down. Uh, although I, I did touch the master volume. Let's see the levels. Uh, levels are still pretty high. Surprisingly high. Okay, uh, how about now? Burn, baby, burn. Now it's better, yes, okay. I'm ru running out of bullets soon. Okay, and now we are leaving. We are leaving. Okay, that's one way to solve the situation. Burn everything down. This is cliffhanger situation. I, I suppose crude oil wouldn't bur burn, but this is fantasy, whatever. Huh. All right. Now what? <laughs> now we do something crazy. Ah, uh, wire. Oh no. Tough cloth. Ah, uh, that that could work. Yes, please. Yep. I need to play this game twice because there's um, another pro protagonist, Emily is uh, Emily Hall is uh, is going to have a different uh, adventure at the same time we are playing with the Carnby here. So it's good that you should play the game with 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 the 
male and female. She's, she, at the start, she's like... Okay. They are blind. Okay. I don't think my 32 revolver won't, won't be much of use against that, that kind of thing. Interesting. So, okay, this is must be mount Jeremy talked about in his book. Yeah, hateful mount. Looks like something from the Star Wars. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon Deseto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. That was brave. <laughs> Interdimensional adventures continue.